I'm going to give you an example of how to calculate maximum dosages of drugs. The example we'll use is for local anesthetic. Let's say you have to calculate the maximum number of carpules that you can give uh, to a 90 kilogram patient and the anesthetic you're going to use is 2% lidocaine with 1 to 100,000 epinephrine. So how do you go through the calculations for that? First of all, the maximum dose for lidocaine is 4.4 milligrams per kilogram. And that's often the way you'll see um, dosages related in a milligram per kilogram fashion. So 4.4 milligrams per kilogram for lidocaine with an absolute maximum, so not to go over a total of 300 milligrams. So for our 90 kilogram client, if we use the 4.4 milligram per kilogram, that would tell us a maximum dose of 396. But again, that would be over our absolute maximum of 300. So this will be the number that we have to base our calculations on. So the most uh, anesthetic we can give the client is a total of 300 milligrams of lidocaine. It's a 2% solution of lidocaine, and a 2% solution means there's 20 milligrams per milliliter. 20 milligrams per milliliter equals a 2% solution. A carpule holds 1.8 milliliters of solution, which means there's 36 milligrams of lidocaine per carpule of anesthetic. So every anesthetic, every carpule of 2% uh, lidocaine will have a total of 36 milligrams of the drug in the carpule. The most we can give them is a maximum of 300 milligrams. So to find out how many carpules that is, we divide 300 by 36, and that gives us 8.3 carpules. So that tells us that the most anesthetic we can give a client based on the lidocaine is 8.3 carpules. Now in this situation, lidocaine isn't the only drug that's in that anesthetic carpule. We also have 1 to 100,000 epinephrine. So we have to look at that calculation as well. The maximum dose of epinephrine you can give a client, total dose, is 0.2 milligrams. So that's the key number we have to be aware of when looking at epinephrine. One carpule of 1 to 100,000 epinephrine equals 0 0.018 milligrams. So in our 8.3 carpules, the amount of epinephrine comes out to 0 0.15 milligrams. That's still under the allowable maximum of 0.2, so we can still use 8.3 carpules. If instead of 2% lidocaine to 1, 1 to 100,000 epinephrine, it was 1 to 50,000 epinephrine, that would be twice as much epinephrine as in the scenario we just did. In that case, the amount of epinephrine would be the limiting factor of how many carpules we can give. So always when looking at um, trying to determine how much anesthetic a client can actually receive, you have to do the calculations on all of the drugs that are in that carpule. The other thing to be aware of is the amount of time the anesthetic is administered over. Totally different story if I administer 8.3 carpules over an 8-hour long appointment. That's much different than if, if I give them 8.3 carpules right in a row at the beginning of an appointment. So again, the maximum amount you can give a client is dependent on the drug qualities and quantities and also dependent on the amount of time that the anesthetic is administered over.